Okay, we got Emmerich being played by Sparky in the blue versus KHB. Playing Lytra in the orange. And they're playing on gigantic snowfield. So I am very intrigued as to how this is going to go. Emmerich, people have been figuring a lot of stuff out with Emmerich recently. And... I'm really curious to see how that's going to play out on a map like this. I actually do think that Trebuchet is a possibility on this map. Just because, like, Barge is, like, totally a thing you can get. And, yeah, we definitely see people go Barge. And, yeah, like, there is access to this back war tile here that Trebuchet could take. So, I... I think we could see some stuff, like we could see Emmerich Treb, also we could see Emmerich Archer, another strong possibility. Which uh, people have been figuring out more recently, like Emmerich Archer, definitely saw that in the first round of the championships. If you haven't seen those games, absolutely would highly recommend Psychoia playing Emmerich like a complete boss. And Emmerich's just gonna get propelled forward by this barge. We're gonna see Sparky do some stuff with Emmerich. KHP has a ton of money now, so what are we gonna see? We're gonna see Balloon. This is the alternative to going fast barge. You get Balloon, put Commander, or you heal Commander and put them Balloon, and Golem comes out, okay. And Sparky, ooh, they're gonna put on some early pressure. Wow, that stronghold is wide open. Yeah, you can just put Knight. Well, that isn't actually a crit tile on the stronghold. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. This actually could almost have been game. I think if the Knight was positioned correctly. Like, this could have just been game. Like, Knight crit plus, like, double sword hits would have actually ended it. And I think KHB just didn't really respect the fact that Barky was going to go for something like this. Okay. And I guess Barky's just like, oh, wait, I could have maybe ended the game there. They have a, a dragon. There's no anti-air. Like, there's a mage over here, which I guess is going to slowly get into position, but... Dragon's going to get some free hits. KHB just kind of has to be ready to lose a unit right now. And yeah, like KHB just kind of forgot to sh defend their stronghold. It's gonna result in quite a few units going down. The dog goes, goes forward. Perfect unit for this. Like there's nothing the dog doesn't fight well against over here. But yeah, sure. Like they've got Golem on the offense, but Emmerich's here with a crystal, so. 122, uh, looking pretty strong. Yeah, they got a lot more groove than Lytra. Okay, yeah, Golem just kind of walks forward. They're basically going to force Emmerich to walk back and defend. I mean, fair enough. Sword crit will be available on that sword, though. Dragon going to have to fly back. Yeah, there's so much anti air over here now. Like, basically, like, Panic by Witch, Extra Mage, with the Balloon. And yeah, Dragon just flies back to its own Witch. Yeah, Sword Crit gonna come in. Good defense here. And there is... Ooh, there is a Knight Crit available in the Stronghold. Oh, but KHP not gonna go for it. It doesn't attack? Oh. I wonder if that was a misclick. Golem could have smacked the sword and Night Crit could have followed up. And I I wonder if like that would have even killed the stronghold. Maybe not though. But yeah, KHB did not play that game particularly well. I will I will say. They just didn't defend their strongholds. Um and then their offense was a bit scrappy because they had to just swing their entire army to defend. So, a bit unfortunate. 
I guess this is a very big learning lesson though, like when you play a map like this, it's like... You need to spend a bit of time looking at like, okay, where's my stronghold, where's all the production on the map, that kind of thing. Because yeah, like if you have a map like this, where isolated strongholds are, are completely valid uh, map making layout. But like it's a slow reinforce for yourself and like it's a relatively quick reinforce for your opponent so you have to send units to defend and it does result in games that can kind of end like this where like one person just is a bit slow on the defense i but i think it's, it's true of sparky as well i think they could have lined up a night crit much sooner and just you know pressure to end the game very very quickly because yeah like night crit plus sword hit Probably brings a stronghold down to like a night hit follow up. Especially because they had like a second low health sword that they could have used as well. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think I think Sparky could maybe have ended the game a lot quicker. But yeah, it's a difficult map, and this is TYM, so you're going to see a lot of games where people just like aren't necessarily doing the optimal strategies because like, people are just learning the maps but anyway well played sparky's gonna take it and we're gonna go on to the next game